Jamie here. Today we are going to share the five steps that you need to completely reset your iPhone or your iPad. You will need to follow all the steps to ensure that your data is wiped off the device. We made this video in a user-friendly format that's broken up into five sections to allow you to follow along. Feel free to pause as you need to. First thing you want to do is back up your device. You'll be using this backup to set up your new device. So let's dive right into how to do that. The first step is settings. We're always going to go back to settings. That's the little gear icon there. The top of the next page, you'll see your name. Click on that. Then on the right hand side, you'll see iCloud, then iCloud backup, and then backup now. You'll also see when your last backup occurred. In my case, that was last night at 920. We're going to hit that backup now button just so we have the latest copy. This can take a few minutes depending on when your last backup was, so just be patient. Next, we're going to turn off Find My. This is step two in our process. So again, we're going to go back to settings. And once we click settings, we're going to look on that same side, click our face again. Then on the right hand side, you will see Find My. Click Find My, and then at the top, you will see that that is on. You're going to cut that off. This will prompt you to enter your password. Now it'll take a few minutes for it to unpair itself, so give it a little bit of time. You can see that it's actually doing that from the spinning wheel. Once it takes you back to that screen, we're going to jump into the next step, which is unpairing it from iCloud. So we're going to click the settings again, and then it's going to take us to that same screen. You're going to click over on the right at the very bottom, you're going to click sign out. A copy of the data on this iPad and you do not. The whole purpose is to get this information off of your iPad. We've already done a backup at the beginning and that's what you have that's stored in the cloud. You do not need this so you will not. Now you hit sign out and this will definitely take a little bit of time. Uh, one of my iPads took almost an hour, so just be patient as it does this process. Do not rush it and do not interrupt it. If you are almost out of power, you might want to plug the power up. That's the best practice to make sure that you get everything completely wiped off of your machine. This would be the perfect time to hit that subscribe button, hit the little bell letting us know whether you like this content, and if you have any ideas for future videos, leave it in the comments below. We read each and every comment as we're building this channel and want to provide quality content that helps you and make your life easier. All right, let's jump back into it. Just double check, we're gonna go back to settings, that's the little gear icon. You can see at the top left hand corner where your face and picture was is no longer there. Your Apple ID is not signed in. So next up, we're going to hit settings again, and we're actually going to complete it by resetting the device. So and now you can see we're not signed in by looking at that upper left hand corner. We can see we're not signed into the iPad. This time we're gonna scroll all the way over to the right side and you will see transfer or reset iPad. If you're doing it on the iPhone, it'll say iPhone. So you're gonna click there, the arrow, and it's gonna take us to the next page, which says prepare for your new iPad. This is just reiterating that you should have made a backup. We're gonna choose at the very bottom, erase all content and settings and erase this iPad screen comes up and we're going to hit continue. This is showing you what's still on the iPad that it's erasing, and we're just making sure that everything is off the iPad. So we're gonna hit continue, put our passcode in, and erase iPad. Once we do this, we're going to be golden, and we'll be able to set up our new iPad and trade this or give this one away without worrying about any of our personal data being on it. Again, this might take a while. I've had it take a, a good amount of time. Uh, if you have a SIM card in your iPad or in your phone, now would be the time to take So you remove the SIM card by using the tool that came with your iPhone or iPad. It's just that straight little thing that looks like a paper clip. If you do not have your SIM ejection tool, you can use a small paper clip and just make a straight end. Push it straight with a little bit of pressure and you'll feel that drawer pop out and then you take the SIM card out. I'll hear from you in the comments below about what videos you'd like to see next. I want to quickly review what we did today. We made a backup of our device. We turned off Find My. 
we signed out of iCloud, we reset our device, and we are now sending our device off. I highly recommend if you're doing this as a trade-in to Apple, AT&T, Verizon, whomever, that you take pictures of the front and back of the device as well as how you're packing it. That's just for peace of mind. I have had some instances where people have reported not getting the trade-in value that they were quoted or saying something was damaged after the fact. So this way you have some pictures and proof. Make sure you hold on to that slip uh, with the tracking number and that you kind of keep track of it. So one of my clients thought they were getting credit. They went online to see where they were in the process and it was actually on hold. That's why it's so important that we get everything turned off and signed out on your device because they cannot proceed with the trade-in if Find My is turned on or any of your information is on there. So that's for your protection and that's a good thing. So I hope you found this video useful. If you did, we hope we'll see you in future videos. If you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe and hit that little bell so you can be notified about future videos. It really helps us out. We have a playlist on other MagSafe accessories and cases that you may want to check out. Links are below. Thanks for watching. See you soon.